make sure I push that down when I put this leg on. This has got knots on the, this end and that I don't want to interfere with the screws, so I'm going to go with this end. that's the back legs and I can tell you right now that they are laid apart a little bit so that means I'm gonna to have to put a board across here to bring them in so let me see here where's my measuring tape I'm going to go with 30 and one quarter. Yep, 30 and one quarter. We have four dips, 30 and one quarter. And I can tell you right now, oh no, that's way out. That's 30 and three quarters. So 30 and a quarter is what I want. I want to board it 30 and a quarter. Let's see what I got. Now, you know what? I'm gonna have to wait to do that because of the drain pipe. I've got to see how this is gonna fit with the drain pipe. I can always do that upstairs. I'm just getting the main frame work done. Okay. So long as it's not gonna be sitting on the floor and I can put the drain stuff in. I'm hoping to get that kitchen tour out either tomorrow or the next day. So. words that's for sure one more in the back okay yeah things gonna come out I don't 
think the cement floor is even for one thing. I know that the back is pulling, it's not even, the front's not even, I mean the legs aren't, I have to brace them up. And also the cement floor is not even. So like I said, it's not going to be pretty, it's not going to be standard, it's going to be functional. Okay, and since I wash, hand, wash dishes by hand, I've got a drain board, tend to Go to the right, I have a drain board, and it'll slip over the over the sink. It'll hang over the sink, okay? So, and I'll just put a bead of caulking along here so that I don't have any major issues there with, with water. Well, there's my kitchen sink. It's got some dirt on the inside here, and I'll just... Clean that up after. 